In this video, I'm going to teach you how to customize your YouTube channel title. By the way, you can make the title of your channel something that's searchable and can help you get more business or more views or more audience. We'll talk about that in just a moment. I'll also teach you how to get the best channel keywords to help your channel be more discoverable on YouTube. We'll talk about a tool that's free, link in the description below, that can help you discover what the best keywords are potentially for your channel and to be discovered on YouTube. And of course, you wanna write an ice cold killer description that makes your business and your channel and your audience able to discover you more easily and understand what you're all about. Optimization for title, description, and tags all in the tutorial today. Just start with me by going straight up to the avatar in the top right hand corner on YouTube. And we're gonna dive into YouTube Studio. Click that button, just follow along with me. Just do this along with me. You don't wanna leave any of this optimization behind. First stop, left hand side, scroll down and go to customization. This is where we're gonna handle a few of our settings for the video today. Not all of them, but a few of them are there. So what we'll do is go over to basic info and in the basic info tab within channel customization, that's where we can do our description and our channel title. Okay, so I'm gonna talk with you about how you can optimize both of these to get maximum amounts of views across the board. So first things first, a lot of you are thinking, my channel name needs to be something that is original and, and is only mine. Yeah, that's what most people do, that's for sure. But you can also customize your channel name to be keyword heavy if you want to help yourself be discovered. For example, in the past, I've seen people name their channel uh, the name of a video game or include the word fishing in the name of their channel if they're a fishing channel, or include the word unboxing in the name of their channel if they are an unboxing channel. All of this can help you make, make you more discoverable on YouTube for that topic, and of course can make it more clear to your audience as to what your content is all about. Of course, you can hit the pen tab here, and YouTube will let you name anything for your channel name, as long as you can keep that name PG, keep it very brand safe, keep it uh, within the community guidelines and make sure that the name represents your content. Now, how can you discover which keywords you could potentially put in your channel name to help your channel become more discoverable if you wanna use that strategy? TubeBuddy was the tool I was telling you about a moment ago. Link in the description below, you can download it for free. It's just a Chrome extension. Let me just show you how it can allow you to research those keywords uh, so that you can more effectively uh, potentially get keywords that you can include in your channel title. So click the TubeBuddy extension once you've installed it right up here in the top and use the Keyword Explorer. I freaking love this tool, I love it. So let's say that your channel is about, uh, I don't know, uh, un, uh, let's say fishing. I always use fishing as an example. Type in the keyword that your channel is about, follow along with me with TubeBuddy, click Explore. And what you can do is you can explore keywords related to your topic to see if there is one uh, that has lower competition and yet has a high search volume on YouTube. And so what you wanna do is you wanna find something with low competition because if you name your channel or include those keywords in your channel name and your description and your tags, you can potentially rank for those and YouTube will suggest you for those. So what you can do is explore video searches right here related to the particular topic you're, you're covering. And let's just say I'm gonna randomly choose one of these, okay? Like, who knows if this is gonna work out or not, but I just wanna show you the, the research method. Okay, <laughs> that was really lucky. Um, fish songs, fishing songs. So the reason, I'm not telling you to make your channel about fishing songs, I'm telling you that if you can discover a topic that has relatively high search volume, as you can see here, and has a relatively low competition, you can potentially put that term in the name of your channel and in your description and in your tags to help you get more views and more discoverability on your channel. As you can see, we have a very good score because of these factors, 78, 71,000 monthly searches on this. Pretty cool. So consider that for the title of your channel. Now, when you go to your description on your channel, you wanna make sure that you use, I'm gonna disappear for a moment, check it out. See the number right behind me, it's right down there. It disappears when you're not typing. Let me show it to you. It's really important. When you're typing that description, see it down there? You have 1,000 characters. 1,000 characters to work with for your description. I recommend trying to use all 1,000. Don't leave any search on the table, okay? I'm coming back, here I am. Don't leave any search on the table. Maximize this description with keywords related to your channel. So on my channel, uh, coach, 
is one thing. I'm a content creator coach. I coach people on how to do their technology and grow their channels. I included that. Software, gear, strategy, online broadcasting. All of these are terms that I researched using TubeBuddy to try to find areas where I could break through and also to have keywords related to who I am in my description. And so, for example, if I was searching for online broadcasting, I would be looking for that term and trying to find different elements of that that I could break through on with my keywords. You guys use this research process as well. Now, one thing I recommend with your channel description, have the first line be a great elevator pitch, one sentence summary of everything you're all about. So with mine, it's AWOL coaches you on the software, gear, and strategy you need to succeed in online broadcasting. So in one line, you understand what I'm all about. You need to sit down and come up with one line that you're all about and make that the first line of your channel description for anybody that comes by. They're not gonna read your entire description. For the remainder of the description, fill it out with nice juicy keywords. Don't stuff it with keywords. Have an actual description that describes what you're all about, but pack it with as many keywords as you can. I've got, for example, in mind, content creators and growing audiences and diversify revenue and multi-channel network and various things that I'm associated with as a YouTuber. Think about those, use TubeBuddy's research tool, find those keywords and find a way to integrate them over into your description to help you make you more discoverable. Cool, get it close to 1000 total characters, then, publish it by clicking the publish button. That's your channel name and that's your channel description. But what about the tags? For some reason, YouTube still doesn't have this in the customization section. So you have to go into settings down here in YouTube studio, down here, settings, the gear cog down there, hidden behind my animated logo. Okay. Click settings with the gear cog and it's going to pull up this settings menu, this old school menu, and you're going to click channel right over here. And this is where you can edit your keywords for your channel. Okay, those keywords for your channel that will help make your channel more discoverable. So using the TubeBuddy research process, here's what you're gonna do. Let's say online broadcasting was a, ter a term that I was using. What I can do is I can go through and look at video searches that people are making related to online broadcasting. And I can check next to the ones, see how I'm doing this check next to the ones that I think are most appropriate for my channel and most optimized. I'm going to disappear so you can check this out. Then down here in the action section on TubeBuddy, you click this and then I, what I would do is I would copy to clipboard those particular search terms, copy to clipboard. Okay. And then what I do is I take those key terms related to my channel. I bring them over here in the keyword section. And then what, what do I do? They're copied. Then I paste right here and boom, those keywords are now a part of my keywords for my channel. So fill out your keywords to the absolute maximum number of keywords. 500, I believe is the maximum 500 characters. I believe is the maximum here, 500. And then you hit save. Now it's a little bit janky. It's a little bit glitched. It's a little bit difficult to know what your maximum is here. So what I recommend and like to know whether you're close to the maximum. So one best practice you can use if you're looking to fill these out is I'm going to cancel, not save. Watch this. Go to one of your videos on your YouTube channel, just any video at all. And then what you can do on that video, just as a best practice is you can go down to the tag section of that video and then make a tag section here. Okay and fill out all 500 on those tags, all 500 uh, on those tags, and then copy all from these tags and paste it over to the tag section we were just in. That's a, one, that's a way to kind of measure the number of tags you have. I believe it is 500 max for channel keywords. This copy feature I don't believe is here unless you have TubeBuddy installed. Link in the description below, it's an affiliate link. I get credit if you install or download tubebuddy.com slash AWOL versus. It's so amazing for optimizing those channel tags, that channel name and title and that channel description. Appreciate it. Enjoy pimping out your channel and I hope you get more views and I hope you get more customers because you've actually spent the time to optimize.